Welcome Cancer to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 4th of September. This week holds rich promise, but if you're someone who tends to delay decisions based on retrogrades, you could miss out on the chance to seize the moment in a very dynamic way. Let me explain. On Monday, Venus ends a six-week retrograde. If you've been waiting for some money to come to you, or you've been working intently on your self-worth, particularly in terms of your appearance, your weight and so forth, Venus going direct is definitely a, a good thing. And you could get that money that you've been waiting for, and you can feel better about yourself. But also on Monday, Jupiter goes retrograde. So it's going to be retrograde for the next four months to the end of the year. So you have a choice. It's in the part of your situation to do with your future plans, your friendships, your network. And of course, Jupiter can be about philosophies. So if you're minded to delay something around those future hopes because of the retrograde, you'd miss out on the fact that Jupiter makes an amazing link with Mercury also in retrograde on Monday, and an even better link with the sun exactly on Friday. Let me just unpack that for you. So Jupiter is about growth, optimism, can be about travel, international uh, interactions, trade, and of course through its rulership of Pisces, it can be very much about our higher spiritual purpose. And in the 11th house, the retrograde suggests through to the end of December that maybe there will be a review. You will go through a period of just checking out that some of the alliances you've got are really right for you. But this week, because the link between Mercury and the Sun in your everyday communicational sector, let's just put to one side that Mercury's retrograde, are so bright you could have a conversation that's incredibly uplifting. But as I say, you could also choose to just retreat a little bit, keep the world at a distance and not go for these opportunities. So Mercury is retrograde in the sign that it rules, the second sign that it rules of Virgo. So Virgo energy is very much about precision, discrimination, virtue, uh, how we think but achieve results in a practical way. Its rulership of Gemini is very much to do with quick wits, being humorous, pivoting quickly to opportunities. So for you, although Mercury is hosted in Virgo, it is a Gemini-like phase of the year. So things are moving quite swiftly. So you may hear or get a letter or an email about a topic that you actually got moving on the last Mercury retrograde, and you could get the outcome to it now within this one. The last one was in May. So don't believe because of Mercury retrograde and Jupiter retrograde that something good can't happen, because it can. Also, additionally, Mercury and the Sun align so perfectly, we have what's known in traditional astrology as a Mercury Kazemi. But what the sun does is amplify the magnificence of Mercury, so your wits can be even sharper. And because Jupiter is about growth, all it does in the 11th house is make you more sincere or more desirous of an outcome which really meets your highest hopes in a more spiritual dimension rather than a physical dimension. So a conversation you have this week can be very uplifting but it may relate to a subject, a topic, a theme that you started some time ago. The only thing I would say about this week is there is a quarter moon on Wednesday in Gemini, your 12th house. So someone could say something to you this week quite quickly, but also quite carelessly. And it may be a comment that you're better to shrug off. I certainly would be steering clear of anyone who gets a great deal of, of, of pleasure from being a bit malicious about pieces of information they share. Now we get this stuff all the time through social media where people will say things and there's an intention behind the comments and sometimes it can be to big themselves up, showcase a holiday, yeah, that's fair enough. 
but it has an impact on the person watching. I would steer a little bit clear of those kind of arenas, but also if you're chatting to someone locally, third house, perhaps even a sibling, and the careless comments made, do shrug it off because I think your focus should be on your big picture and your big future. Jupiter is big. Yes, it's slowing down, but it still has enormous opportunities for you right through to the time that it moves into your 12th house where it will still have opportunities on the 26th of May next year. So this is a process. Life is a process. It's not always, we don't always get to where we want in one giant leap. Sometimes it's a number of smaller steps. And of course the sign of Virgo is very much about precision, details, being very careful and ordered. So around your communications, make sure you are sharp, on the ball and accurate and also check that other people so if you send an important email go to your sent box and check that it's gone emails can go awry if you're sending an important letter then register it so you get a track of when it's signed for the other end it might cost you a little bit more but you're making sure there's precision in the processes that you're going through so this is a week despite the retrogrades to think big be optimistic. I feel that you are going to see something unfold which relates to earlier in the year and can be very, very good for you. But also your financial situation or your sense of self-worth can pick up with Venus going direct. So there's a lot to be excited about this week, uh, Cancer, despite the retrograde. Now, I'd just like to remind you that you can watch your year 2024 deep dive forecast by clicking on the link beneath this video. And also, if you want to take advantage of my very special opportunity to order your year 2024 personal forecast now, based on your unique birth data, no two charts are the same, and you can get 30% off and your personal character analysis or life roadmap to gain a more intimate understanding of your life patterns, please see the link beneath this video too. Thank you.